Joe Gilker. I'm an astrophotographer and your dark sky guide for the Lennox and Addington County Dark Sky Viewing Area's public viewing events. This month, I'll be guiding you through an evening of stargazing and meteor watching for our 2017 Perseid, Me Perseid Meteor Shower Stargazing events. Throughout the summer, we've offered monthly guided tours on of the skies, one weekend per month at the new moon, weather permitting. This is our second last uh, weekend of 2017, so if you've been meaning to come out, now's the time. There's not much time left. The site is located at 7980 County Road 41 in Aaronsville, Ontario. And it's the most suddenly point in Ontario that offers a night sky a viewing experience similar to what was available everywhere you know, over a century ago. Normally, our sessions are held on the weekend closest to the new moon, but due to the Perseid shower this month, this month's session will be held a week early on the weekend of August 11th and 12th at the peak of the shower. As usual, the sessions will start around 10 p.m. and last about 90 minutes. We'll be starting off with a laser-guided tour of the major constellations in night sky and then moving on to the telescope. This month, we'll be breaking away from our usual format. Since the moon will be bright, deep sky objects will be very, very difficult to see in telescopes. So instead, we'll be focusing on Saturn, and we'll be getting some high, uh, high power views of the moon instead. Now, the main event for the evening will be the Perseid meteor shower, the best shower that can be seen from the northern hemisphere. This is a yearly event caused by the Earth passing through the uh, debris left behind by a comet Swift Tunnel. The shower gets its name from the point from where it sh the meteors seem to radiate, which is the northern constellation Perseus. As the Earth passes through the debris, these small particles of dust hit the atmosphere at over 50 times the speed of sound and get incinerated in the upper atmosphere, causing the meteor streaks that we see. On a dark night, at its peak, you may see one meteor per minute. However, due to the bright moon in the sky, most of the small faint meteors will be washed out by the moonlight. However, we should still be able to see plenty of the larger meteors, and if we're lucky, we may even get to see a few fireballs. So, a few tips for the evening. Bring some insect repellent. The mosquitoes are pretty thick out there. We're out in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness. There are a lot of mosquitoes, so insect repellent will save you. I would also recommend bring a light jacket and wear long pants, and preferably enclosed shoes versus sandals. The less exposed skin you have, the less you'll get bitten. Also, bring a chair, uh, preferably a reclining a recliner or a lounge chair, lawn chair that you can lean back on and relax. That'll give you the best view of the sky, particularly for the meteors. If you plan on staying late, a blanket isn't a bad idea either because it tends to get a little bit chilly. And of course, I'd like to remind everyone that only red lights are permitting on the observing platform once the viewing session starts. Um, and you're encouraged to stay well after the presentation is complete at 11.30. The meteor's will, activity will increase through the night and peak between 1 and 3 a.m. Of course, we're slaves to the weather, so these events are only possible if the skies are mostly clear. We try to make the yay or nay call before 1 p.m. on the day of the event. If the weather conditions appear unfavorable, then the event will be canceled. So before leaving home, please make sure that you check the Dark Sky Viewing Area's Facebook page for the latest information to make sure that the event isn't cancelled. So come on out and spend an evening under the stars and see the night sky the way it was meant to be seen. For the Dark Sky Viewing Area, I'm Joe Gilker.